Hey guys, it's me, your best friend Joe. Welcome to a new Let's Play. I almost said welcome back, but I, I finished Tomb Raider Anniversary uh, just a couple days ago. So I'm going to be replaying the entire Crystal Dynamics Tomb Raider trilogy. And this is Tomb Raider Legend. This is part one. Um, and this is probably the one out of the trilogy that I've played the least. So this should be an interesting experience, although... I, this game is relatively short, and I'm, I think I'm... You guys know, already know I'm a master Tomb Raider. And it's also important to point out, this game actually came out before Anniversary, even though it happens after Anniversary chronologically. So anyway, let's just get started. I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to do this one on easy. I think I did Anniversary on normal, but let's just do easy. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Let's do this. Let's do it. I'm ready. So, of course, we get a, an opening cutscene intro thing to set up the entire, this entire trilogy's, like, storyline, sort of-ish. So, there's little Lara with her mom. And their rich private jet. Cute, but perhaps they don't wish to be found. I've heard they're rather fierce. Yet he only look fierce. Yeah. They probably don't like being so cold. You're gonna grow up to kill a lot of those like things one day. You never have to be cold, my Lara, <laughs> if you don't want to be. Aww. It's so sad. Look! Yeah, the motherfucking plane's on fire. What's so... You might want to fix that. Uh-oh. She just, like, dragged her over there. Well, the plane's on motherfucking fire. I don't think it can stay up. I'm not an aviator. Aviation was scientist. Okay. Oh, this is really sad, though. I remember the first time playing this and being so sad. Okay, crazy child. Aww. And then it happens. And that's the end of the game. That's the rebooted Lara Croft. She dies in the first scene. Oh, wait. I forgot. <laughs> well, I think you forgot your climbing gear on purpose. Oh, and now she has a headset. Give you that idea? And she's got two people who talk to her, and it's annoying. Just letting you know ahead of time. It's Zip and Alistair are her really? headset people. It's like going up a set of stairs, only far less forward. See, this... This Laura didn't even need climbing gear. She didn't need a climbing axe. Hey, Alice is back. Grab a headset. I do actually like Zip and Alice for their their pee cool. Just hanging around. Ascending. Yay. Check out the moves. She's a lovely civilization. Currently in All right, let's do this. I'm ready. I'm looking for certain artifacts. Yay! Well, for some time now. I'm okay, Lara. Okay, first of all. What sort of artifacts? An ornate stone dame. There's a secret. A big rock. Okay, please stop your conversation so that I can actually narrate this video, please. Thank you. Okay, maybe make that subtitle go away. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry to those birds. Oh, I was gonna start off this episode by, like, just jumping off this cliff. I won't. Don't. I won't. I won't swan dive off a cliff immediately. I don't know why it tells you you can kick things right here, because it's totally unnecessary to kick these rocks. Have you noticed, by the way, how amazingly hidden all of those secrets are? <laughs> Just amazing. Oh, that was lovely. Um. Oh, so. Oh, hold on. God. It's a phone. Well, look at that black and white screen, by the way. So, okay, zip. Shush. Thank you. Um, I've got the graphics settings up all the way on this game, except the next generation content, which in my opinion, makes the game look actually worse. Like, Lara looks like a, I mean, she already looks sort of plastic, but it makes her look like a plastic, like, I don't know, Barbie doll or something. It's so bad. 
away from the screen then. All right, so I've got my light source. Now I've got a light on my boob, which is totes convenient. Um, don't have don't have to deal with those pesky flares anymore. So gorgeous. The only thing that I guess the background looks good. Is this the way I just came from? Is this the way I just came from? <laughs> <laughs> the background looks really gorgeous with the next generation content on it, but um, like all of the character models just look horrible. Deep breath, sip. This will be a long trip, otherwise. Oh my god, this is gonna be a long journey for real if you keep talking, Zip. Like five real. Alright. Gorgeous. Oh, all I can think about oh shit. Okay. I should move. <laughs> All I can think about is how her boots and her socks are going to be wet, and how annoying that's going to be. Alright, so this this entire like first part is just sort of teaching you the controls. One thing that's a little bit annoying to me about this one, and probably why I, why I like... Um, okay. Chopping people who weren't there two seconds ago. Captain people who could see me, if he looked at all. Alright, shh, 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 it's okay. Alright, anyway. Okay, all of these notifications on the screen need to go away. Can you believe this secret right there? Probably one of the reasons why I like Anniversary is because I like the controls of Tomb Raider Anniversary a little bit better. Um, whereas this one, you, your guns are, act differently. Like, you have to hold down the, the mouse button to keep them out in Anniversary, but on this one, they stay out, and then she'll occasionally just, like, randomly put them back up, and it, it can get kind of frustrating. Um, so I've altered the controls a little bit for this game. So hopefully they help me. I mean, I am already a Master Tomb Raider, so you don't have any anything much to worry about. Swear to God. So what? Out and have you noticed, all of Lara's first kills in this game are humans. Most of the things that she kills in this game are people. Whereas in Anniversary, it was mostly like animals that were attacking her. So, oh, wow! Oh my god! <laughs> I was trying to do this awesome slow motion move, and they just like totally messed me up. I don't need to use a health pack. Do they have any guns? No. All right. Okay, go. Laura. <laughs> You'll know uh, you you will notice um, the games like obviously I think in my opinion anniversary looked graphically better than this and then because obviously it came out like a year later so really she just didn't grab for that rope at all she just chose to fall on a rock um, and then underworld I really enjoy the graphics in Tomb Raider Underworld so get ready for those uh, those are gorgeous. But these are still really great. I mean, I think this game has held up really well for it being almost 10 years old. Alright, maybe grab the... maybe? Good. Good for you. Um... Stunning. Just jump. Just... 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 <laughs> shh, shh. No, he's already dead. Oh my god, you are jumping to your death. Are you kidding me that she just jumped all the- No, I wanted to do other things up there! Oh my god, and it put me all the way back here. Really, Laura? Really? Is that how this Let's Play is starting out? Is that- is this, like, foreboding of how this is gonna go? No. That's not. I refuse. I refuse. Oh, and you'll also notice Laura doesn't have a braid anymore. She got bangs! I got bangs! <laughs> That's the- that's another publicity reference. Bang voyage. <laughs> oh, there's a secret up there that I'm not gonna bother with. 
Yeah, I think her hair looks better in this game than it does in, like, the Tomb Raider 2013 game. If I'm being totes honest. Any more peeps? Peeps for me to... Peeps for me to shoot? The peeps in my poops? Here we go. If I can... Isn't she beautiful? It's great. I'm falling in love all over there are people with guns everywhere, though. So you should... I'm a terribly lucky girl. Maybe focus on that. Yeah, look at those bangs! Here come the bloody tourists to spoil Bang voyage is gonna be my catchphrase in this, which is obviously stolen from publicity. Men with guns. Mercenaries by the look of them. What are they doing there? They're just... they're Getting just chillin'. Alright. Let's crush them with these boulders. Cute. Where did that go? Okay, whatever. Bang voyage! I should have said that when they died. Pretend I did. Oh, shh, 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 shh. Someone in the comments said they'd never know if I'm shushing... Oh, what'd they say? They never know if I'm shushing myself or the enemies or something when I shush. I think I'm normally shushing the enemies. It's just like my default to want to shush when I'm shooting some- when I'm shooting people. I don't know why. <laughs> I just expect them to be quiet. I just want them to- to not talk while I'm shooting them. Look at how graphically gorgeous these vines are that stay looking the exact same no matter what way you turn. <laughs> I just find it so hard to believe that the graphics in this game are pretty darn good. Pretty darn up to par. But then those fucking vines look like they are from a Tomb Raider game from like 20 years ago. It's so funny. Okay, Laura, if you want to do your crazy cool m jumping move on these people, you should probably pull it up, pull it off correctly. I guess they could have shot that down. No. Oh. Look at this cute jeep! I fucking hope they had a brand deal there. That's hot stuff. Alright, let's go pick up some medi packs. You can only carry three in this game, which is cray. I think I ended Tomb Raider Anniversary with 16, so it's strange to have to carry three. I think I got all the ammo I needed. Yep, okay. You collect guns and ammo in this one, unlike Tomb Raider Anniversary as well, which is weird. Okay, I don't know why you put your guns away when there were clearly more people with guns out and about. Death by irony is always painful. Amateurs. Okay. Gorge. Um. Oh, I know I want... I have more ammo with this gun. Yep. We're good. We're chill. Oh god! Why didn't she jump right? <laughs> Okay, Laura, maybe swing a little higher this time, gorgeous. I'm good. I got everything under control, Zip. So that- was that my first death in the game? Followed by many, many more, I'm sure. Are these- Even these- oh shit, this is gonna be- This is gonna be one of those times. Oh my god, if she will not jump in the correct fucking direction, I don't even know what I'm gonna do in life. Thank you. I feel like this is, um... They were still sort of getting all the mechanics right between this one and... Are you fucking me? Okay. <sighs> chill, Lara, chill. <laughs> Thank you. I feel like they were sort of still getting the mechanics right in this game. Uh, between this one and Anniversary. And then I feel like in Anniversary they really got it good. Did I do it? I'm good. Okay. Congratulitos. And now, uh, I do enjoy the swimming. The swimming stayed the same in all the games, pretty much.
Well, she was like gasping just now, Jesus. Well, there will... There will still be some endangered species. It wouldn't be a Tomb Raider game if there weren't some endangered species that you just murder. Oh! Okay. I should probably be a little more careful. <laughs> okay. I thought I thought Alistair was Alistair's supposed to be the smart one. He's the like a nerdy guy in my headset. Zip is like the technology one, and Alistair's like the nerdy one. You would think he would know the difference between like a monkey skull and like a human skull, but no. All right, we're good. Everything's fab so far. Perf. Peeps in here? I don't think there are any peeps. I think there's a jaguar in here. Looks like you're going forward. Yes, but how? With Just to prepare you, Zip and Alistair are basically only in this game. They're basically their only purpose is to provide you with. Is there a jaguar down here? Yes. Okay. Come out of here. Come out. Come out. So I can shoot you while you're while you're not provoking me. Okay, so, sorry. Their only purpose in this game is so that Laura is not like t making all of these jokes to herself. Basically, it's basically th it. I don't think there was another jaguar down here. I hope not. Okay, maybe pull this up onto this. Oh, can you? Further, please. Just to make sure. Can you? Thank you. Okay. I remember these puzzles pretty well. This game got really good reviews, if I remember, but people's main complaint was that it was way too short. Um, and this game is very short. Like, there will be some locations we go to, and we will, like, just get there, and then it'll be over. And it's very weird. But... They, you know, they never did get this block pulling mechanism right in like any of the Tomb Raider games though. This is like the worst thing ever. I get, sorry if I like, this is like the director, Joe's director cut, even though I had nothing to do with the making of this game, of like the Tomb Raider games because I j I love them so much. So I spend a lot of time thinking about them. So you get all of these like insights of what I've thought about them through all of the years, which is probably soups boring. <laughs> okay, Lara. Let's just tap tap that. Tap it, girlfriend. P.S. I don't think that's how, like, if this were like a seesaw, would this not fly in this direction? Like, that direction? I mean, I'm not a... Would it, was, would it be a physicist? I don't know. Clearly I'm not anything that has to do with motion. I barely move in real life ever. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure these bl these blocks would be flying in the opposite direction than they did. That's fine. I'm not here to question the mechanics. I'm just here to accept them and discuss them. Okay. Gorgeous. It seems like the, the puzzles in this one are a little bit dumbed down. Compared to maybe anniversary or something. Get ready for Zip and Alistair's voices to be in your ear for this entire Let's Play. Kind of like my voice is always in your ear when you're watching this. Now you're just going to have one more. I know you're so excited. You're super excited about that. Um, even these chains look better than the... Like, these at least turn. That's a big fucking chain. Okay. Those chains look what I was those chains look better than the fucking vines. Those vines are just awful. Just so bad. Uh. 
Gorge? Gorge? Is that a ledge below me? Okay, I'm glad it was. Stunning. Stunning. We made it! I guess I could have gone either way. Oh, I can go up there and get that silver thing if I want to, but I don't want to. Oh. Yeah. Is this gonna be a quick time event? Yes, okay. All the exciting, fun parts of Tomb Raider games you don't actually get to experience. <laughs> Look, there's a secret down there! Oh, goodbye secret. I'm still breathing, yes. Yeah, I'm fab. All right. Is there a little creature for me down here? There he is. Okay. Sorry. Oh, whoa, I scared him. Woo. Well, I mean, I guess, you know, if you're just an endangered species minding your own fucking business and someone starts shooting at you... Maybe it's a little... concerning. Okay, this thing needs to- this thing needs to. Are you kidding me with this thing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Sorry! Don't- you better not waste that... carcass, Lara. That would make an amazing... pair of boots. You could be a cheetah girl! That's a horrible joke. Don't kill animals. <laughs> Don't kill endangered species. <laughs> Alright, so we made it this far. Now we're in this like dungeon of doom or whatever. And next time you will find out how we get out of it and what happens. Oh my god, look at this. Look at the Tomb Raider Legend outro. Look at me swinging on that rope. It was totes a candid picture. My hair looks amazing in it. I know you can you can comment on it if you would like to. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're uh, enjoying this and hope you're ready for another Tomb Raider Let's Play because I fucking love playing in these games as many times as forever. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.